dude. Bro, beep, 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 big news. The new Twitch bullshit just dropped. It happened. They finally, they did a new one. Twitch is doing a new, they dropped another bullshit. They dropped more shit. They just can't stop, can they? So Twitch is currently discussing ideas of changing the way that the partner program works, uh, which incentivizes more, uh, more ads. They want more of those. First of all, they want more of those. We gotta get more of them. The thing everyone doesn't want, we gotta get more of them in there. But it's okay. It's okay because in response to more ads, they're gonna make the streamers uh, angrier as well. Currently, every streamer that probably since 2018 gets an automatic and locked in 50% revenue split with subscriptions on Twitch. Uh, it's a shit split. I have a 70-30 split. So I, I stand to lose more than a lot of people that are already angry despite the fact they're at the 50% cut. But the important one to me that actually like isn't so bad and is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, which just makes me look like, it makes me feel like all of these bullet points are a joke. Like this is a big clown. Like this is a, this is a goof that they're doing is it says no more exclusivity. For context, prior to me becoming an official Twitch partner, I used to stream at the same time on YouTube and Twitch. I was always live on both at the same time because that was allowed. If Twitch goes through with this and starts fucking totally taking a big poopy dump all over uh, themselves, I can assure you every single person the second this no more exclusivity thing comes out is going to cross stream on every single platform because it simplifies the process of uploading VODs by about a thousand times. Really, the only person that loses out on this is Brett because boy oh boy, if I'm restreaming to YouTube and automatically uploading those VODs, unfortunately that will uh, remove his job. <laughs> so that's a, that's a bummer in some ways because I really do quite appreciate Brett's help with that. I don't think Twitch is going to integrate these changes because it would be dumb. I mean, I'll make more money from cross-streaming to YouTube than I will likely the 30, the 20% I lose off of Twitch. So Twitch, by all means, shoot yourself in the legs a couple of times for me because it would make my job thrive. You actually don't understand. They are truly shooting themselves in the foot in the dumbest way possible. And I'll stop relying on Twitch, which is even worse for them. <laughs> Any streamer that continued to stream on just Twitch after Twitch dropped exclusivity would be completely bonkers. YouTube has more censorship. <laughs> Dude, I don't know about that one, man. Twitch is the most fucking sensitive babies ever when it comes to censorship, dude. YouTube is like a fucking wasteland compared to there's no one out there. It's a wild west. I have seen horrific things on YouTube. <laughs> I have seen things that keep me up at night, staring at the ceiling, wondering if the world is okay, quote unquote. I'm not, I'm not worried about censorship. Besides, I am not someone that is likely very vulnerable to censorship. I, je I flat out censor you more than you would ever be censored by YouTube on a daily. The fact that they dropped this now means all the drama will die down by the time it actually comes out and everyone will be talking about the streamer drama of the month instead. That's not entirely true. Twitch seems to be one of the most susceptible sites to streamer bullying uh, of any I've ever seen, where if enough people get really angry and yell at them, Twitch is usually the one that's like, uh, oops. And they usually pick up their garbage off of the ground and stumble back out the door to mass applause. That's why I'm doing my part. I'm a hero. As a side note, Twitch, if you want me to stop picking on you, you can pay me millions of dollars and an exclusivity, a true exclusivity contract, and I will stop on the spot. I will, I will completely sell out if you give me the money. Give me the bag and I will stop. But until then, I'm a hero. Buy my silence. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my silence now. Have you played the Stanley Parable before? Yes. Matter of fact, I have until I was unceremoniously uh, removed from my stream as a result of a power outage. An act of God, if you will. <laughs> I, I, was, I was unceremoniously ripped from the stream by an act of God. Enables additional text next to gameplay critical colors. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is the story of a man named Stanley. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, 
when he realized that not one single order oh my God. arrived on the monitor. Face. That's not what the monitor's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have that cat on it. It's supposed to have that fun cat. That's how you know the monitor is working. Where's my... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Pause. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. This is the sharpener corner. This is where we put the naughty employees. Someone in chat. Hey, welcome first time chatter. They say PP. Pee -pee. Their first chat message is PP. Welcome. Come on in. You'll fit in just fine. I'm sure you've noticed. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do I just like follow this guy? The streamer already missed 50 endings. Day ruined. <laughs> Shut, stop it. I think I'm gonna listen to him for a, for a bit. Come on, we gotta do the honest ending at least for a minute. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Good to be home. No reason to still be here. This is exactly how I remember it. Every last piece of this is the exact same as always. Repeat stream, rerun. You can't, you truly cannot prove that I'm not just restreaming the you, old VOD, are you can really you? Still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely- I'm just gonna wait for him to get to his, his, his like, wit's end, and then I'm leaving. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe- All right, I'm done. Talk about this All right, I'm, le I'm say, leaving. I'm oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending Can I get the achievement again for the broom closet rate. ending? I hope you're- Guys, I don't have any achievements on Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I'm going back into the broom closet. He got me back in there, baby. He reeled me back in. I'm missing all the achievements for Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Okay. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's Fine, how I'm stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be All right, I'm done. We're not doing this ending. I've already done it. We've been here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to I'm not doing it again. What did you say? Upstairs? Now I'm now I'm feeling rebellious. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked Not this down? again! No, not this again! Doors close automatically behind him where- uh, This is a vanilla ending! We gotta get out of here! His rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Uh, vanilla ending, lol. Chat! That's not there. like there's a fucking walkthrough guide for Stanley Parable that says how to get to the Ultra Deluxe content! It's a game about getting to the endings! Well what do you want from me?! Maybe it won't Maybe end this time. Maybe there's more to it this time. Maybe that's the secret this time. Yeah, yeah. He was amazed, yeah, yeah, he yeah, yeah. And the ending, I, I understand now. I'll try harder to find the secret one next time. Just stop. That's it. I'm going to do it. Pulls out gun. He closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. That's it. I'm going to do That's it. I'm taking matters in my own hands. The press of the mattress on his back. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Oh, you're through with this dream. Oh, you're not waking up ever, over. Stanley. Not after Let this me go one. Back to my Slash me. Let me continue gun. pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. We're going to be fine. I am okay. We're going to be good. I'm in my lane. Stanley began screaming. Oh, please, ah! someone wake me up. My name is What's happening again? We've already been boss, here. It's a rerun stream. Real. Please. please. Someone tell me I am real. Someone find me the old end, the new ending. I want a new ending. Help. Help. And everything went black. E this is the story of a woman named Mariella. I don't give two shits about Mariella, dude. I cannot believe I got the vanilla ending again. I'm mad that you got the vanilla ending that wasn't even the broom closet ending. She remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. 
all of his co-workers were gone. Don't care. What could it mean? From here, it's, um, left. Ah, uh, okay, well, just don't open. I don't know. He seems like he knows where he's going. I'll listen. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. Bumble ending, vanilla ending. Omega low. Look, chat. I didn't play through all of the Stanley Parable because an act of God turned my stream offline and shut down my power within about two hours of me playing it. So if I haven't seen it before, it's fair fucking game because I literally don't know the difference. Okay, so I'm going to just play whatever the fuck I want. Get shot in the basement ending. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. I'm looking at all of it. Quick, Stanley, close your I'm eyes. I'm looking at all of it. I'm looking at all of it. Okay, okay. We'll just restart the game from the beginning. No. And this time, suppose we don't no. wander so far off No, I'll die. Okay. From I'll the die. Top. I'll die. Hey. Hello? Inner guilt. Everyone knows what you did. They're just holding back to let you torture yourself. I don't want to go into inner guilt. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Oh. Just follow the line. How simple is that? All righty. Let's go back to the line. I'm going back to the line. Yes, I'm going. You already made it bad enough. I'm gonna follow the line. The lines. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Okay. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. I'm just not gonna look at anything around no. me. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Ah! Ah! Just follow the line. Follow the line. Yeah, the one. Follow the line! Just don't stop following the line! Follow the line! Is this what it's like to be a streamer? Like, I, I feel like a... Is this what it's like to watch me? Like, watch me just do this horrible fucking, like, jerking motion and weave around like an idiot? Instead of just going in a straight line? Yes! Whatever! Ugh. To the end, I can feel it! Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. What? But that's not part of the... That's not part of the line. We have to have faith in the line! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm looking. Again, I'm looking with my eyes. You have done this to I'm us. watching. I'm looking as hard as I can again. You. I'm looking again. Everything we've been through... I'm watching with my eyes. No, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Taking it in. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. I like Please drinking the mop water. That's what I do. I come in here and I take sips out of the mop water. That's my dis that's my nasty fascination with the broom closet. You happy you got it out of me? Let's leave. What he could I not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. <gasps> and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumb. <laughs> Trying to input anything on the device was useless. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Streamer shouldn't have known that. Your RP failing. We'll see about that. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Where's the line? It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his Where's job. the line? Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him. 
This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoops, nope, uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. I'm going back for the line. Why did Stanley do that? I'm, go I'm going back for the line. He just back to his boss's office. Well, that's I a gotta great find question. It. I just can't wait to find out. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. Weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Stop picking on me, okay? I'm done. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Hang on, I forgot to go past my den. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. I'm having fun. To go back up in the elevators are fun. We can't even begin to grapple with what might Whee! be up there. Is it the boss's office again? <laughs> or what? Is it the boss's office this time? <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh my god. It's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a no. time out here for a minute while I process. No, no, really, you don't understand El Goblino! Okay, I'm ready. Where is it? I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with. No! No, wait! I need more time to process. Guys, I think he's picking on us right now. I think I pissed off. I think I pissed off the DM, dude. <laughs> I pissed off the DM. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turned I'm going to back downstairs. course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. <laughs> we no are going down this time. That's just how <laughs> revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air Ooh. in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Huh? What was that? Yep. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Huh? Don't you realize? Huh? It's the anticipation, Stanley. Huh? You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. No! The suspense. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. No! It's so precious. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? You're on, asshole. <laughs> there we go. Isn't this You so haven't much seen one of my intros, have standard? you, pussy? It seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want You have is to no be idea to who the king of stalling is, is do you? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and appreciation for the story? There the it is. We can just kick it again. What, what you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took You're this welcome. Gold That's what I've been telling people about the intros the for years now. Over and over. It's the most Truly exciting part unique. of the stream. This is unique and different. Yep. It's not like anything else out there. Exactly. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. Mm -hmm. I want to have to think. That's why people like you Certainly so much, not like a tomato intro. Shut up! Spit in the face of tradition. Shut up! You're a I've gathered a little press conference for Oh my god. You, so that you can talk about your work and your oh storytelling my god. and your life. Oh my I god. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. Oh my god. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh my oh god! Idea. All eyes on Stanley, live on stage. That's me. An evening with the world peace baby. Dude, babies li truly lack a moral compass. Okay, they can't provide world peace to anyone. Also, that baby's ugly. I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative Oh, don't worry. Oh You'll do great. Just be yourself. Break a leg, champ. My boss. My boss said that to me. My fucking boss. Uh, I love the way you ride elevators. Heart XX. 
<laughs> Careful, Jab, you might have to cut the feed if it can. We might not be able to show any more of these on feed. It's any more, it's any more like this. I don't know. The freedom ending. I played the demo. Adventure awaits. That's the line. That's the line. That's the line. <sighs> we can't go on that stage. Where's the line? It's not the same. Oh my god! Thank you everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah! Ah! Much the way that Luigi would show up to help his brother Mario when he falls to his death 18 times in a level, I too have received a helping hand from the gods. Here we go, baby! I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. We are literally owed the content. We are, we are owed the content. All right. All right, let's see, it's the jump circle. Fast space to jump. Oh my god, they added jump to the game! Chat, outside of the circle, you cannot jump! Look, it just said it right there, in my achievement! You cannot jump in this video game! Until now. No. No. No, I wasn't done! Is that it? Jump circle. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? And if- oh, Shut right, up! Shut the fuck up! There's more. Very shut up now! Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Yeah. Let's see it. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason. I for one think this content's actually very and interesting. Don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. Why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable Yo. is really about? No frills, Yo. no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. No. I believe in the <clears throat> Psst, Stanley, come over here in the vent. I don't trust I like that. I want to show man. you something. I don't trust like that. I don't go into any fucking vent, okay? When someone says, come into the vent, I want to show you something. I just don't. Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? Damn, man. Oh, never mind. You're not a dog. I just want to see if you'd seriously say something again, dude. I just want to see if you'd say something again, you stupid fucking dork. Hang on. I actually am going to go inside the vent because it looks like... I'm going to go back inside the thing. I'm going to go back inside it. Wait, what? No. No! 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 No, no, no! The streamer blew it. He's back into the vanilla content. I love the concept of colors. I love looking at the maximum capabilities of Source Engine. Do in moment. Shut up! Don't ruin this! What's the color of the lights? Wouldn't you like to know? Look at this colorblind person. Everyone, look at them. Just stay here. No! What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. I've had enough of the colors. Mild Dutton Rage. I'll show you Mild Dutton Rage! Huh? Oh. Ow! Ow! Oh. Ow! Thank God. I didn't hear no bell. Huh. Stanley, let's go oh. back to the other room. All right, fine. Can you do that for me? Yes. Perhaps you can. No, I can't. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. 
Is this really how much you dislike my game? All right, I'm doubling back, Did you man. you throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? I'm, I'm going You're back. You're literally willing to kill yourself to I'm, keep I'm me doubling from back around. Correct. I'm going back to the stupid color zone, all right? Is that going to make you happy? Going to make you stop crying like a little baby? I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, I'm can't you? Ha! It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. No. No, wait, yes! Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Chat, most of the time, if someone tries to show you something inside of a spooky vent, and they go, psst, and then open the vent, and then gesture you to come in, don't go in there. It's sus! Whoa. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh my god. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally... Oh, I remember like it was yesterday. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it <gasps> all meant 2013, when oh, Stanley Parable was released. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. That's probably a picture of the first dollar that the Stanley Parable ever made. Everyone remembers the Stanley Parable of 2013. In loving memory of little Stanley. Little Stanley! Oh, my heart! My heart! It hurts! Stanley I hate you! Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. Oh That's God. how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. Nine out of ten. Don't Nine you out of ten, the game dude. Was perfect. It didn't need Game anything else. Got it. it didn't need Carolyn content. got it. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What have you been hiding What's down this? here? What's down here? Oh my God. No. Oh no. Oh God, no. No. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam. No. The online video game distributor. No. I no. no. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Uh. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Damn, man. Sometimes it's just like that. That's why you never want to look back ever. That's why you literally never want to look back in your entire life. Always be staring forward and charging forward as fast as you can blindly. Nine and a nine point eight. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then. Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. There's nothing more badass than looking at complaints on the internet and simply doubling down on doing whatever pisses people off. Trust me, it's it's the best play. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just skip. the push of a... Damn, that is helpful. You see, you were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That long Unless you pay me $30, I'd press it again! 30, 45 minutes? You pay me or I'd press it again! Durable by any okay, means. I press! Well, oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. <laughs> Stanley, I... <I've been coughs> 
Hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything. Uh, through pass. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth. Some people never learn their goddamn us. lesson. It wasn't enough. The end is never 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 the end. Open the door! The end is never the end is never the end. Help! Somebody! Wow. Eventually a tree will grow here, chat. And that tree will allow us to climb out of this place. I have a good feeling. Never mind. I'd like to move forward now! Oh. Oh my god. Narrator! Narrator! We must walk into the sun until we find a new narrator to take us in. Oh. New, new content. Devs put out a patch. New fe Here we go, chat. New features. Let's get this party underway. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. What if it doxes me? <laughs> what if it knows my true name? What do players really want? What if, it's a, what if course, it calls me Greg or something? <laughs> what if it calls me like a random person? That's not my name. Recognized. Well, that's the button that says the name of the whole game. The, my name, my whole name, the, all, all my name. I'm hovering over the mute button because if it even, if I hear a J in there, I ain't gonna let it finish like all the way through. What if it says my last name? <laughs> Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the that's button uh, that's not my name, but that was that's, course, that scared me. Game, this that did scare me. Whoa <laughs> oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes Whoa! a person can be too It actually much feels better when no one tells you to do it. I'm putting the gym button away. No, no! As soon you'll start to lose all Jim. sense of Jim. who you actually Jim. are. Jim. Hang on. Now I can I can fix this myself. <sighs> Give me a second. Jim. Go back now. Do this. Jim. Okay, now I just turn that down. Now whatever. Jim. 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 Okay. Now just a little bit faster, maybe just uh Jim. 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 It's not the same, man! It's not the fucking same! Jim. Jim. <laughs> right, that one kind of hits, though. Hang on, that one kind of hits well. Jim. 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 Maybe we just do, hang on, maybe we just Jim. do a couple, okay? Jim. 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 Jim, dude. I'm Jim, man. I'm Jim. Jim. No! I did it! Jim. Whatever. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. There it is, Jim. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Uh, oh, <laughs> one of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop what? back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Okay, Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. What? 
Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. How close from is it from where I am? It's merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Ah! 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 Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me Someone's outstanding. Someone's throwing their cigarettes I'm down here. and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Look, uh, the thing's got a little Dude, heat calm down. I it's think we both said hole. some things we didn't like, mean. Whatever. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? I'll just be up here when you're ready. No, I'm going to die on this hill. It's not an infinite hole. I'm not about to break on that. I refuse to be deceived by anyone, especially a game developer. Broom closet too, dude. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, whatever. Wait, now, I'm very excited. Oh, for heaven. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. <laughs> I love holes. A normal person would have said, yeah, that's You know me hole. too well. I'm, I'm nasty. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, no, no. You have a weird sort of... Ow! Oh. Did it get shorter? Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. All right, man. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. <clears throat> How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth... I just can't see this scratching the itch. You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. All right, man. It's not working. Hmm. Help. Is the, uh, help! Help! I don't have any jump tokens and we're not in the jump you circle. Sure? Well, I mean, help! Help! I have an explanation. Still nothing. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of it. My name is Jim. Anyways, asshole. Here we go. Version two. Here we go. Hole's bigger. That's good. <sighs> and it's in the kidding, the jump Stanley? circle is in the hole. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. The button. And I do very much the, enjoy the button. Gags, the, but they don't the add up to button. anything. Button. <laughs> all of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley picked up the bucket. Uh, yes. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I don't follow the rules. Come on, Bucket. I'm going to teach you how we play it back where I'm this from. Was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the Mean the to bucket. Be. Get it. You would never understand. No, said the <gasps> bucket. <gasps> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Yes, Bucket. The cargo lift, yes. Yeah. Go there. I'm go going to the, to the cargo, cargo lift. lift, Bucket. Okay, Bucket. Stanley did not question why or how this Bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, we because... We listen to the Bucket. Him. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the Bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the Bucket asked. I love the Bucket. Oh! Oh! Now pick up the phone. Bucket, Good what's happening? Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Hello? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley uh, and his bucket. Uh, Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. Where's my bucket? And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to where's him. Where's my fucking bucket? There you are. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press G to take me to work with you. You got it. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to bucket him is just in his head. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? Yes, Bucket Chan, well, yes. I'll try anyway. Stanley, huh? can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. Huh? It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. 
It doesn't do You're anything. wrong! You're wrong! Don't listen to the loud man. Press B to put us for us to go back home. Press B now. Yes, Bucket. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. <sighs> he's still taking orders from the Bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful Bucket. Press X to ignore everyone in your life except for me. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. He's From now on, just he's jealous. just going to cling to this bucket, this cold... He's jealous of the bucket, he's this jealous... sort of shiny bucket. He's just stunned because I picked a bucket, bucket over him! Shine to it. <laughs> yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. I love you, Bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? It's my bucket. The bucket I've carried all along. The one that's always been with me through the good times and the bad. As after, of course, Stanley Parable 2's release. Uh, up until that point, he was nowhere to be found. But ever since then, he's been here. Press K to go home to work, to home, to work, to home. Yes, my bucket. I'm having feelings. What? For the bucket. Back off! Oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Stay do anything away. it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Stay away, bucket's mine. If I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. And stay away. It's bucket and I special night tonight. Candles in all. Fuck it. <laughs> Stanley, give me the bucket. No! Give it to me. No! Give me the no! bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Close your eyes. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant bucket. Man. What did it look like? Oh my God. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms. Uh. And a wave of comfort rushed over him. Bucket will protect me in these trying times. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. What? You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It, it can, can try. try. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. It can try. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Shut up. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. Given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet You're is? You're so predictable. To resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? I'll kill him, Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. I'll kill them all. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply. That you and the bucket are not truly what? deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless what? that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object? They're wrong, which Bucket! That's to not true, Bucket! In an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeanor. I only have a state in here because I thought it was funny for a jet pick for a clip. You and the bucket I didn't care! Go through each of them. I never like this points. place. Share your journal. I think it's. I get bored every single time I go in here. Of your feelings for the bucket, Eddie. Man. I love this bucket more than I'd ever love you, broom. You just. Don't. What is that? Oh, this is the wrench. As I was saying. And you know what? At no point did he say the story of me, my bucket, and my broom. <laughs> because you're irrelevant to the plot, and you always have been. Good day, sir. Bro! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley Bro, that's a Stanley Remember, collectible. No reward for collecting all of these. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Oh no. He had left Ch I could hear the guy workouts. switch and fucking recording that. studios. We are still economy. in the what old ending. It's the vanilla ending he again. I heard him switch recording that. studios, his dude. He's on a new mic. Crazy. He looked down at the bucket oh, in what? his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. bucket. am I? The bucket returned his gaze. 
but said nothing at all. And that's strange. No, that is weird. That Usually is weird. a bucket is a weird. source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. This isn't my bucket. What? It's just a normal, everyday bucket. How did you someone get these stickers? I bag. throw the bucket. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? How did... This is all terribly wrong. Where's my Surely bucket? I no dropped the bucket. Would come from this. Now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. My bucket! My... It's all happening again. It's all happening again. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. I needed that Where bucket, man. I must find it. Bucket, which one of these are the you, man? He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore I'd be able his to smell bucket anywhere. And suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. Huh? It was incredibly painful. <clears throat> Stanley doubled over in agony <clears throat> and blacked out. <clears throat> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place. Man, that really... <laughs> But on this particular so instead of be fucking the bucket interrupted by the <laughs> <man, laughs> not even bother through town talking and screaming to himself and then hey, what's to that the bucket doing it right away what, she knew the what the why is she in my bucket this man had no bucket and <laughs> That's my bucket vision, perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place how cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket. No bucket. <laughs> but of course, she had no time for this. Heck yes, she thought to herself. My life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. The elevator raced downward. Hey, Bucket, you want to see a funny joke that really face. pisses off this bozo? It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself hey, together, if not for You want to see a funny one? Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The Bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. This one kills him. Wait, Stanley said to the Bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket. But the bucket remains silent. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Bucket, are you not Once having fun Stanley with me? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. I guess if Bucket doesn't want doesn't want to hang out with me up here, then we'll just move on. I guess since Bucket has stuff to do today. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. It's fine. It's whatever. Here I go again. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. Dude, the bucket is cringing. I can fucking feel it. Here we go, said Stanley. This time, I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind, anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was bucket, doing. Bucket, why are we not having fun the anymore? The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all, only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. Sure don't want to play with the number three? Stanley and the bucket were so close, they'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. Maybe he'll enjoy the joke if I go up one more time. Ah, <laughs> said Stanley. I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak mm -hmm. to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. For it I'll, I'll bring the crowd in to explain to Bucket why, why the fuck so his sense of humor pressing. sucks and mine then is good. Alright, 
No more, no more goofing around. For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. There was no one here. Huh? Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley huh? speak, to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting. He was a failure, and in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no oh. deeper understanding. <laughs> the bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. Say something. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them bucket. grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, bucket. neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be What's no wrong with games, the number three, no man? No long conversations about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. Oh my god. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. There it is, baby. There it is, baby. What's that back there? What's that shiny little thing? That's mini stand number five. Got it. You found it near the cargo lift. Thanks for watching. <laughs>